Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to the next video then as part of this series. Um, so in this series, um, we're going to start making it look how we want it to look, I suppose. So um, this is how it's thrown up on my screen when I first installed Pro Real Time. Um, I'm going to show you very quickly to start with how you get access to Pro Real Time. Okay, so this is the IG Index platform. Uh, you'll probably be familiar with this if you've uh, used IG before. Uh, this is the new platform. Uh, there is a classic platform, which is the old school platform that's still available. Um, but uh, to get to Pro Real Time as part of this, um, you have to click on where it says spread bit up here in the right hand corner and go to Pro Real Time. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up this little window here and allow you to launch the platform. Now what you might find is that that option isn't available and you need to go to your settings to activate it and what you do is you would go to my IG and then go to settings and then click on pro real time down here on the left hand menu and you can enable pro real time here basically okay you can enable it for your different spread bet accounts if you've got more than one um, and this is where you can open it and disable it and you have to it says here we will debit £30 from your account on the last day of every calendar month while Pro Time Pro Real Time is enabled. If you trade more four or more times with us during the month, we will not charge you for the access. So you basically get it for free as long as you trade four times or more in the month. Okay. So that's the that's the deal, that's the setup. And most of us trade more than four times a month or place trades more than four times a month. So um so that should work out nicely, should save you some money if you're using ShareScope right now. But that's how you activate it anyway. And then you should have that link in IG to enable you to then go to Spreadbet and then click on Pro Real Time to launch it, to open it up. So once it's in, once you've activated it, you go up here to, to Spreadbet, click on Pro Real Time, you'll get this thing. This button will be, this is buttons grayed out because I've actually already got it open in the background, but that button will be blue. And you'll be able to click on launch your platform and it will basically will just start up for you. So once you're into Pro Real Time, this is generally what it's going to look like. It might look a bit different. It might be a completely different setup. Um, and that's fine. What we're actually going to do to get started with is we're just going to drop all these. So you see the X's in the corners of these little windows. We're just going to get rid of them all and start with a blank canvas, a blank slate. Um, I just find that's a lot easier to then go through. And it's easier to kind of then build this process for you using layers, if that makes sense. So first thing we're going to do is open up a chart. So you'll see up here in the top left, there's um, a couple of windows and an add sign. So we're just going to open a new window. So what we're going to do is we're just going to type in the name of a company. So it can be any company right now. It doesn't really matter. So you could type in the Germany 30 or Tesco. I'm just going to type in Tesco because it's the first one that came to my head. And it's just going to give you a list of all. And this ties in with IG's platform, you see. So anything that you can trade on IG will be available through Pro Real Time. It's all linked together. So uh, you've got the future contracts there. You've got the DFB and that kind of stuff. We're just going to open Tesco PLC DFB. Um, and so this is what you start with. This is kind of like the main chart window. Okay. Now... I'm going to get rid of the relative strength index down here at the bottom. I don't use that at all. And so to do that, I'm just going to click on this little X right there. And then I'm going to also going to get rid of the MACD because I don't use that either. So I'm going to close the MACD. So what I'm left with is this chart. To get your head around this chart, um, we are currently looking at a 15 minute chart. We can tell that because of this little drop down here up there. So I'm going to change that to daily because I'm only trading daily charts right now. And what this uh, drop down does is it tells you how much of the data you want to see. How many bars do you want to see? So it's kind of like time frame really. At the moment we're only looking at the last 200 bars. But we can look at the last 10,000 bars and you get to see all of that. And then all I do is I use the little scroll wheel on my mouse to just zoom in to where I want this basically. Okay, and it's sort of there. So... That's fine for me. Now, you notice that we've got these weird little uh, lines here, these little gaps and spaces. We're basically going to make this chart look how we want it to look now. Okay, we're just going to make this chart look proper. So what you do is you right click on the chart and that's going to give you all these options here to basically like do what you want to it. We're actually looking for chart, uh, sorry, settings price. 
okay settings price right there okay so we click on that and what we're going to do is we're going to start to make some changes to the way this chart is set up for us now okay so we've got um, red and uh, green for the candlestick bars that's fine I'm going to get rid of the border because I don't really like the borders around the candles that's personal preference and that's pretty much all I'm going to do on this and then we've got a couple of moving averages on this chart so I'm going to place a five period moving average I'm going to make that a black line and I'm going to change the width to I'm going to keep it small actually uh, I didn't change that to black so to change the color of the moving average you just click on this color here and then choose from the plat from the palette and then click OK and it's now black okay then I'm going and I'm also going to change this 5 to an exponential so to do that you go to method here and you could choose exponential moving average and down here I've noticed that they've made the style a dotted line so I'm just going to change that to a a, a proper full line basically I'm also going to change this moving average here so we've got the 5 there we've got the 20 simple currently on the chart as you can see on this kind of drop down kind of hierarchy menu so I've highlighted this I'm going to change this one to the 27 it's currently what I'm using right now so I'm just going to use what I'm using and that one's going to be a kind of a yellowy orange kind of color I'm going to make that a little bit bolder so I can see that better and I'm also going to make this line a, a full line and I'm going to change it to an exponential moving average okay recent executed orders that doesn't really mean anything uh, color zone I'm going to get rid of that I don't want that so basically what I'm going to do here this is what this this uh, color is in between the moving averages I'm not interested in that so to delete something that's already in because obviously they're going to add stuff for you um, you click on it and go to this bin up here delete and we get rid of it like that so now the chart's starting to look a bit better. Um, and I'm going to add a another moving average, another exponential moving average to this chart. In fact, I'm going to add two more. Okay. So how to add more uh, moving averages to your chart is you click on Add Indicator up here. Okay. And as you'll see, you've got Favorite Indicators, Moving Average, and Price. But you might find that they're not there if you haven't used Pro Real Time before. So, you might, so up here, moving average has gone to the top of my list because I've used it quite a bit in the past. You might find that it's not there and you actually have to scroll down and find it. You don't want moving average ribbon. You want just the one that says moving average. Okay, We click on that and it's opened up the exponential 90 for me because that's actually what I've it's kind of remembered what I've been doing in the past already. So um, but you might want to change whatever it comes out as to whatever the period is. And whatever the method, whether you're not we you want simple or exponential, and change your color, change your width, change your style if you want to, um, and that's that. I'm going to add one more, and I'm going to change this to the 200. I like to have the 200 on my charts. Exponential, and I'm going to make that a blue line. So I've got five, uh, four moving averages on here. I've got the red, uh, sorry, the black five EMA that hugs the price. I've got the 27, which is the yellow one. I've got the 90 on here, which is the orange one. And I've got my exponential 200. Now you might only want the 5, 21 and 200. It depends what system you're using. Okay, but that's how you do it. Um, and that's that. If you wanted to add any more indicators like a Donchin channel, they're here as well. So you click on Donchin channel right there and you'll see a Donchin channel now appears on the chart. Okay, And you can tailor that Donchin channel by changing the period. So you might want a 30 Donchin or a 50 Donchin, whatever you want. If you click on Donchin channel up and Donchin channel down, you can change the line colors. You can also, if you drop down right to the bottom here, you can color that Donchin channel in here by changing these colors. Okay, but I, I generally like to keep mine just with the up and lower line, otherwise it looks a bit messy. So, and it already looks quite comp complicated there, but that's relatively simple for charts. Um, that is quite straightforward. Um, what you might want to do if there's no lines on your chart, you might want to right click on the chart and go to chart settings. And here you might want to um, display horizontal and a vertical grid. 
So it's just those tick boxes. And my advice really is just to play around. Just to kind of, you, can, you can't really do much damage. Um, right click on the chart. Settings price is everything to do with the moving averages and the price bars and Donchin channels and all that kind of stuff, all your indicators. Then right click and chart settings is to do with how the chart's being displayed. And we'll look at that in a bit more detail in a later video as well. But that is basically how you get your chart looking right. Okay, and then what we can do is we can change this to say, I don't know, Amazon. And we open up Amazon and it's going to give us the same details on Amazon with the same moving averages, the same Donchin channel, everything's exactly the same, just on a different market. We can change this to um, Diageo, beverage company in the UK. Again, same stuff, giving you the same information. Okay, so whatever you change this to now, it's going to reflect here on this chart. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to wrap it up there. Otherwise it's going to be too long. But that's how you get that out, that started up. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to start adding a few more bits and pieces to our screen. I'll generally have my uh, window sort of around this sort of size. It gives me room. gives me some uh, what they call real estate on my screen to be able to add some more windows. But you can just do that by dragging and making it bigger and smaller or whatever. But uh, that's the end of this lesson. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.